JFT, just fair and direct. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to JFD's daily market review for March the 3rd. I am Harala Pissuros, head of research here at JFD, and I will talk about yesterday's main market movers, what's my opinion moving ahead, what are today's important events and how they could affect the markets. But before we start, let's read our disclaimer. The content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. I will leave you a few seconds uh, to read the rest and then we will jump into our analysis. Okay, the US dollar pulled back against uh, all but two of the other major currencies on Wednesday and during the Asian session Thursday. It gained only against JPY and CHF, while it underperformed the most versus GBP, CAT, and AUD. Now, the weakening of the US dollar and the other safe havens again and Frank suggests that investors' risk appetite may have improved somewhat. Indeed, turning our gaze uh, to the equity world, we see that major EU and US indices were a sea of uh, green with a positive mode rolling into the Asian session today. Now, with the war in Ukraine raging, we believe that this is just an adjustment, uh, an adjustment bounce, which was also helped by Fed Chair Powell's remarks before the House Financial Services Committee of the US Congress, and actually, in our view, it's not the beginning of a positive uh, reversal. As long as the Russia-Ukraine crisis continues, we will maintain the view that another round of selling could be possible at any time. Now, as for Powell's testimony, the Fed chief said that he and his colleagues will move forward uh, with uh, their plans uh, to raise interest rates uh, this month. But he added that um, he is inclined to propose and support a 25 basis points rate hike, which may have come as a disappointment to some market participants expecting a double hike. Although the probability of such an action has declined notably recently due to the, on due to the ongoing tensions in uh, Eastern Europe. However, he also noted that he is ready to use larger or more frequent rate hikes if inflation does not slow, which keeps the door open for um, to a steeper um, rate path than the market uh, currently anticipates. Now, with oil, with oil prices keep surging yesterday, we don't see this as a distant scenario. If the spike in energy and other commodity prices translates into further acceleration to the already high inflation, officials may need to indeed proceed with faster hikes. This is in line with our recent view that when the geopolitical tensions ease, an aggressive tightening uh, mood by the Fed may keep a lead on any relief bounce in equities. So fa and this is because faster uh, rate hikes mean higher borrowing costs uh, sooner, as well as uh, lower present values so for several firms, something that could slowly start weighing on equities again. Now, yesterday, we also had a Bank of Canada decision with the bank hiking rates by 25 basis points to 0.50% as was widely anticipated. In the statement accompanying the decision, officials said that Russia's invasion to Ukraine is a major new source of uncertainty, adding that the rising commodity prices could fuel further inflation, but new supply disruptions could weigh on global growth. That said, Officials also said that the rebound from the Omicron variant was well in, the, well in train and that uh, growth for the first quarter of 2022 now looks more solid than previously projected. This may have encouraged market participants to add to their bets with regards to future rate hikes by this bank. Le the Looney was the second winner in line among the majors uh, yesterday, perhaps due to that, but also due to the surging oil prices. Uh, in our view, the same catalysts are likely to keep it supported in the foreseeable future as well. 
Now, as for today's events, we get the final market services and composite PMIs from the Eurozone, the UK and the US, which are uh, once again expected to confirm their preliminary estimates. Investors may pay more attention to the USS ISM non-manufacturing index for February, which is expected to have ticked up to 61 from, from 59.9. As uh, we already, know, already noted, uh, we also have Fed Chair Powell's testimony before the Senate Biking uh, Committee. So, that's it uh, from me. Thank you very much uh, for watching and listening. For those who are interested in learning about the main events of the week much earlier, you can subscribe to the Weekly Market Outlook webinar, which I'm hosting every Monday at 8 o'clock a.m. GMT. You can find the link in the description below. So, goodbye, have a great day, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here again uh, tomorrow. JFT, just fair and direct.